I nominate my favorite player, Eli Manning of the New York Giants, to take the challenge next. It was a moment in time. Yay! He was a trooper um, and wanted to get involved and let us dump water on his head. Captured forever on video. We're lucky to have such a positive, fun memory with him. Steve Ross taking part because... He knows about ALS firsthand, so he wanted to spread the word just like everyone else. What wasn't known during this was 24 hours later... I'm Eli Manning, and I was nominated by one of my biggest fans, Steve Broads. Eli Manning would call Steve out and accept his challenge. This all comes at a time filled with much sadness as they understand their dad's future. Looking back now... In the middle of the sadness and um, the hardship that was the diagnosis, um, it was nice to kind of get to have fun with our dad again and kind of get to see him bring out his silly side um, and have no fear dumping all of that ice on his head. Which is why this video is so important to the family. We're lucky that we have it on video and we get to see that joy on his face and our, on our faces. Steve passed away on May 6th of 2015. A person who has ALS is just robbed of everything. Right after, his wife and girls finding it hard to think about ALS. It was hard to be involved a little bit. You know, the first walk that we went to um, after he passed was, was difficult. But as a family, they understand the need to give back. It was also one of those things that we knew that we just needed to do as a family so that we kept supporting ALS because it is such a devastating disease and it's devastating for the families. And a key to that no, is supporting the families. families. You can't get through something like this without the support of family, friends, and the community in general. We have a lot of gift cards to restaurants. So a decision was made. The girls and I kind of talked about, you know, wouldn't it be cool to do a big fundraiser um, for ALS? Well, you we also have a wine tasting for 20. And so was born. The name of the event is Beave Bash. And we got the name because we wanted to have Steve a part of it. Beave, one of Steve's favorite nicknames, the goal for the August 10th event. To help research, but we also want to use, um, spend part of the money that we donate on local families specifically to help with um, equipment. We have a gift basket of various things from Old Town Petersburg, from some of the different restaurants, from the retreat salon and spa. The public invited to attend, but Wynn says it's important families dealing with ALS come out to know there is support for them. It kind of helps to have a community around you when you're, you know, when you're going through something like that. And of course, just for Steve, the New York Giants is part of the silent auction. Signed pictures uh, from Phil Sims, Bill Parcells, and Lawrence Taylor. The Bross family donated much of Steve's equipment to other families, including the device he used to communicate after he could no longer talk. The Beave Bash, designed to keep Steve's memory alive and in true Bross fashion, geared to helping others. That's a look inside Wayne's World. I'm Wayne Koval, CBS 6 News.